good people of River State, as you are aware, I've continued to update you on recent developments in our state as they relate to the coronavirus pandemic. Let me commend all well-meaning citizens and religious leaders for the understanding and prayers which have made us not to record any new case. As we promised in previous broadcast that we shall continue to review our strategies. The State Security Council met today and considered the hardship being faced by the citizens and took the following decisions. One, all markets in the state, except oil mill market, Indiana market, and slaughter market at Transamadi, shall be open on Tuesday, April 7th, and Wednesday, April 8th, 2020, from 7 a.m. to 12 noon. After those two days, the markets will remain closed. This is a neighborhood residence shop for Easter and also replenish their stock of foodstuffs. All meat market, Indiana market, and slaughter market at Transamadi shall remain closed till further notice. Security agencies have been directed to officials and prosecute persons who have converted the bush for public slaughtering of cars for the purposes of selling to the public. And who must understand that lives are more important than profits. All borders of the state still remain closed. It is quite unfortunate that the containment of coronavirus has been politicized by the federal government. One Lagos state received a grant of 10 billion naira as a commercial hub. River State, as nation's oil and gas hub that produces a greater percentage of nation's wealth, has not received any support from the federal government. One wonders why the federal government should single out a state out of the states to give support. Does it mean only when a state has record of over 50 cases that when the federal government will now interfere or intervene. This is unfortunate. No state should be seen as more important than any other state. This is a federal republic. It is not where one state is more superior than any other state. The other state is equal to have that entitlement as granted by the federal government. Every day we are inundated by letters from federal government to allow oil companies to fly in for the drilling of oil. And then we ask, what is the status of these persons who are coming from Lagos? Nobody has told us what the status they had as regards this virus. So if they come to River State without us knowing their status, what will be the implication, assuming they are having this virus. So we think that the federal government should do the same thing to all other states as they have done to Lagos uh, states. We are concerned to note again that that's what our directive, commercial vehicle operators have refused to maintain social distancing. Their action portends great danger because they place the entire society at risk. Government will hence for sanction defaulters. However, Government will work out alternatives to protect the citizens. The Board of River State Transport Company LLC, has been dissolved with immediate effect. All those operating a franchise scheme in the name of the company as advised to disease 14. Anyone who violates this directive will be arrested and prosecuted. Government took this measure because the franchise scheme of LLC has become notorious for illegal activities that compromise the interests of the state. In line with our decision to provide palliative to cushion the hardship being faced by our people, government has decided to set up a committee to work out modalities for the smooth implementation of this directive. This committee reflects all interest groups. The members are Ambassador Desmond Akawa, Chairman, Mrs. Ineme Aguma, Member, Dr. 
Barrieri Thomas, member. Chief David Briggs, member. Mr. Florence Anosimeka, member. Mrs. Stella Ichemo, member. Mrs. Antonia Bako, member. Honorable Edison Ehe, member. Mr. Samuel Wanasike, member. Mr. Hope Ikriko, member. Mr. Latala Lulu, member. LCP Innocent Umeri, representative of Nigerian Police Force. Hassan Yahaya, representative of the Director of Civil and State Services. Lopna Konabelu, representative of Nigerian Army. LC Matthew Pama, representative of National Society and Civil Defense Corps. Nguyen Commander Comfort Zisan, representative of Nigerian Air Force. Lopna Commander CJ Ude, representative of Nigerian Navy. Venerable Richard Abara, Alhadi Abzarak Debrie, Monsignor Pius Key, Archbishop Felix Edebuan, Mrs. Vision Bread. Politics Insulin will act as secretary. This committee will be inaugurated tomorrow, Monday, April 6, 2020, at the Government House, for talk about 12 noon. Attendance of the inauguration ceremony will be strictly for members of the committee. We are grateful to God that in this case, of the virus is now negative. As soon as we receive the confirmation result, she will be discharged from the treatment center. We also thank our frontline health professional who have displayed a deep sense of professionalism and patriotism during this period, this time period. The state government is also grateful to all the vast people, private individuals, who have contributed to support us in this fight. At the appropriate time, government will publish the names of these individuals and organizations. May I urge our religious leaders to continue to intercede on behalf of the state as we fight to contain this virus. Once again, let me restate that with your continued support, the state will remain safe. Thank you and God bless.